Good morning. I was watch, listening to a video on my walk this morning. The light, the lighting is being funny, but it should fix itself before this video is over with. <laughs> so you only have to see stupid lighting the first portion. Um, so I was listening to a video this morning when I was walking and it was Jacqueline Hill. She did a huge Sephora haul. And if I had as much money as she did, I would probably buy that much stuff too. But anyway, that's not what the point is. The point is not how much she bought, but she was talking about Pat McGrath foundations. And I thought, I have a Pat McGrath foundation. Let's pull that out. So I pulled out what I could find that I have of Pat McGrath. So we'll do that today. We'll take a look at some of that. I'm putting on the renewal oil. I just got out of the shower and my face feels tight. And you can put the renewal oil in your hair too. I have thirsty hair, so the renewal oil doesn't make it. It doesn't flatten it out. Speaking of flattening it out, uh, to prove to you that I do in fact like the Aveda products, I ordered the full size in the thickening tonic and the volumizing tonic. And I used that in my hair today and I blew it out with the big round brush, the Cricut. If you, if you, if I remember, I'll link it in the description box. And if I forget and you do care, then uh, ask me. All right. Uh, I do not have a Pat McGrath concealer or eye primer. So I'm going to use the NARS. I think this is a Charlotte Tilbury double-ended shadow brush. I think it came with a, a palette. I do not know, but it's working well for this purpose, right? So I went for a walk really early this morning, probably at 6.30. I know, that's not that early. But I wanted the sun to be up. At, I mean, you know, it'd be daylight at least. I didn't want to go in the dark because we'd go by some woods and it gives me the heebie-jeebies. And I'll show you a footage of that if I can get that to work. For some reason, I don't know how, I can't make, I can't make the phone footage work in my software that I use for my camera footage. You know, it's, I know, it sounds like a personal problem. It is a personal problem. I'm going to use the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette because I don't have any Pat McGrath eyeshadows. And I'm going to take, I'm going to take this spray instead. It's the Rose Water. Use it by Heritage Store. I'm going to use that to apply my my lid lid color and my lid lid color is lumbra so pat had to go at go out of town it's just a day trip he'll be there and back in a day to go do a an audit where somebody was pretending like the covid was preventing them from being able to do their audit no, I don't know what excuse they used, but they're one of the laggers. He said they've lied to him so many times now. He, he's just driving. It's just a, it's just to tick a box. <laughs> liar, liar. Pat and I are very, I think we all are at this age, right? Once you hit, once you hit, hit 50, are you ever surprised when somebody lies to you about something? Tell me if you're 
at least 50 years old and somebody lies to you, are you surprised? Now, I'm gonna take Ounce, which is a, a creamy color, the lightest one in this palette, and put that underneath my brow. Yeah, I'm never surprised. I'm so jaded that sometimes I don't even believe Pat. <laughs> sometimes I think he's lying to me. I don't think he would. I don't think he, he lies to me. And if he doesn't tell me something, it's either to protect me or he's forgotten. Have I ever caught him in a lie? No, I haven't. But that doesn't prevent me from, from not trusting everything he says. So if I don't trust Pat, who's my best friend in the whole wide world and the most trustworthy person I know, you can only imagine how I feel about what's going on in the world right now. Like anything anybody says. I question it and I wonder what what the motive motive behind what they're saying is this is the Tom Ford brow perfecting pencil in espresso so right now this is my favorite brow product okay there we go now let's glue glue those into oh it's so hot in my workroom. Alright, I'm taking a Sigma clear brow gel and running it across my soap and gluing those babies into place. Gluing them up off the the eyeshadow space of my lids. I want all that space open for creating my eye look. And as usual, it leaves that hole open right there that I hate. There. Now I'm going back to the shadow palette and I'm gonna take the color Ashes and just darken this outer corner. This is gonna, I think this is going more in the direction of the fox eye than the cat eye. What say you? Can you hear the cicadas? So I, we have tossed it back and forth about going, taking a little jaunt out of town and I think I have completely decided that going out of town is stupid right now. I'm not wearing them. I'm not going to... It costs more to live when you're out of town. And I'm not going to pay more to live and have to wear a mask too. It'd be different if it was going to be fun. But I don't think it'll be fun if you have to... Oh, I don't know. We usually go hiking and all that. And you don't have to wear a mask when you hike out in the wilderness. But when you go get food, you'll have to wear a mask. That's stupid. I get, we eat outside most of the time anyway on the sidewalk. So maybe we wouldn't have to because we have taco. I'm still working with that color called Ashes. And then this is Ounce. And let's see. Let's make the, the eye more metallic. I want a brow pen, I mean a uh, eyeliner. I'm gonna use the color Sorry Not Sorry. It's a lip liner from Collab. Ow! It's a little harder than my MAC pencil. Let me see if it's writing. It is writing. I'm coloring in the lashes. 
So today it's super hot. I, it's like, I don't know what the temperature is. Let's see. It says it's only 84. And the time is 10.03. The high today is 90. I'm going to stay in the house and read. I'm still reading Lotus in the Storm and uh, the one about Winston Churchill. Splint, splendid in the Vial, something like that. So like I said, this is a collab lip pencil in the color Sorry Not Sorry. And I'm coloring it on the tight line and in the lashes. Like it. I think I'm going to do it down here too. I'm putting it in the lashes. Oh, it's getting softer now that I've used the oxidized part off. I'm going to use a powder in my lashes because that makes, I feel like that makes separated lash. We're not going to use a lash primer today. I'm using the Bobbi Brown Pale Yellow Powder from this thing. And I put that in my lashes. Now I'm going to take the Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes Mascara and see how that works. Mmm, her mascara smells good. It smells like makeup. I don't know what mascara I put on yesterday, but man, that was a booger getting it off. I was... I don't know what happened. I, I had a client come to the house yesterday and it was later in the day that I'm used to seeing clients and it threw off my go to bed sequence and I didn't take my makeup off until it was bedtime and then I did a, a half ass job with a just a washcloth and I didn't spend a lot of time trying to get the mascara off because I just wanted to go to bed for Pete's sake. So we're watching a new series. We finished 13 and it was good. It was about the girl that was abducted. Ivy Moxham, Moxham, I think is her name. It wasn't a documentary. It was a, a BBC thing, I think. I had somebody ask me in the comments my feelings about putting mascara on the bottom lashes. I'm into it. I like fluffy lashes all the way around. I like the doll, the doll eye effect. That is my go-to thing. I mean, I just do that, automatically do that on uh, brides too unless they ask me not to. I don't have a problem with it bleeding onto my under eye area. My eyes aren't greasy. There's the mascara. Now let's do the Pat McGrath stuff. I'm going to take the Sublime Perfection Primer and I'm going to put it on with this Wayne Goss brush. There's no hard, fast, back to the eyelash thing. There's no hard, fast rules, I don't think. If you don't like to put mascara on your bottom lashes, don't do it. If it's a pain in the, in the arse, just don't do it. I just like it. I, of course, I like to look more made up than most people like to look. So this is called... Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Primer Base Perfection Sublime. I don't know what kind of, what it's supposed to do. I don't know what its claims are. Let's look and see. I'll read it to you. Well, it doesn't say hydrating primer. Let's see. Details. A perfecting primer that smooths, hydrates, and blurs with sublime silken effect that ensures a flawless canvas and makeup application that lasts. Hyaluronic acid hydrates by attracting moisture from the air to help support preserve the youthful qualities of the skin including suppleness, elasticity, and tone. There you go. Alright! Now let's put on the foundation. Oh 
for the love of paint, it squirts straight over the top of my brush and into the carpet. I remember it doing this last time. I'll, I'll spot clean. All right, Jenny, when you use the Pat McGrath foundation, spray it on the palette because it's, it's an overzealous squirter. Anyway, I'll work on that spot. I have white shag carpet. Why? Because I wanted it to be clean and bright in here. All right, I have my foundation on, and now I'm going to contour. I washed brushes again yesterday, so we got that going for us. I'm gonna use the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Palette. It's kind of a, a peachy, a peachy bronzer, right? It's really powdery. I stuck my brush in there aggressively and it fluffed up. This is one of uh, Richard Ann Erlene's favorite colors. Actually, favorite palettes. I'll link Richard Ann Erlene right here. I understand she's going to be back in town later, maybe next month. I heard from her the other day because she ordered a Charleston Makeup Artist t-shirt. I have small, medium, large, and extra large in, in that t-shirt. I'll put a picture right here of, hmm, maybe Melissa, Melissa in her t-shirt. All right, now, I'm liking the way this foundation looks, how about y'all? Now I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to do some blush, and I'm going to use the blush from this same kit. It's Movi. It's actually looking ashy on my skin. We'll see if it self-adjusts after it sits there a little bit. Now let's do, let's take our handy dandy ginormous fan brush. See, this is the palette I'm using. This is the bronzer I use. This is the blush I use, and this is the uh, highlight I'm going to use. Yeah, as suspected, it's not as it's not as as aggressive as I would like. Now it works good if you do it with your finger. Look at there. Hmm. Maybe it needs a damp brush. Isn't this the company that everything's Amazonian clay? Amazonian clay. Speaking of liars, <laughs> do you think they're lying? I don't know. What do I know? I don't know whether they're lying or not. All right, it didn't make it didn't make a very pink cheek though, did it? I don't know. It looks looking pretty. It looks pretty good. All right, I want to divide my lashes out. I like to do it the dangerous way. I like to take something pointy and put it around my eyeballs. All right, I'm gonna take the mascara again. Oh, I didn't tell you what the new show was we're watching. It's called the bay and I think it's taking place in I think it takes place in Dublin I can't remember what it's about now all right I, I bumped my lid a couple of times so I have to wait till it dries and I want more something underneath my eyes and I want to highlight in the corner the bay I'm trying to remember what the premise was was pretty sleepy by the time we found that. All right, I will continue letting the. All right, I have some Pat McGrath lipsticks and a lip gloss. There's a FedEx truck. I haven't ordered anything, so I'm thinking they're not going to bring me a present. Oh, this is a pretty color. 
She's Heaven, four ninety seven. That's a pretty color. And this one is called Lady Stardust. I think I'm going to wipe off the center of my lip with my handy dandy microfiber towel and put this on here. That's pretty. I'm sorry, I'm laughing at, that reminded me of somebody. Can't tell you who. All right, I'm gonna take the color He Devil and put it under my eyes. This is from the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. Oh, I don't have any highlight underneath my eyes. Shall we use a different one? All right, hold on, I'll get a different one. Milk, the Flex Concealer. I'm gonna just do one eye at a time. I think it sets up quicker than my. And this is a Real Techniques Dome Shadow Brush. I don't know what I did with my Soft Blend Concealer Brush from Sigma. Things get a little shuffled around when I wash brushes. Somebody was wanting to know how to make their eyes look more upturned. This is a this is how I always I mean I always start off with good intentions to work everything up. And then I get impatient with my blending and it ends up going in a downward direction. So I correct it all at the end with my highlights, see? All right, let's do the other side. Who was it that asked that? Was it Allison? The one that, the same person, the same viewer who asked for the cat eye look. All right, so let's pretend that I need, I wanted to date. I think it did come down to dating and she can't I would work really hard on the way I look and depending on what you want out of the relationship I'm not sure what I <laughs> all right I'll just continue I, I'm uh, I'm going to make assumptions in my head as to what she wants included in her relationship and based on the assumptions that I'm making, I would say that you need to go, you need to uh, move your age bracket down for what you're looking for. Um, what would I be looking for? I think I would just get another pet. <laughs> I would get another dog. And, I, and the two that I'm looking at, that I'm pretending like I'm gonna get, one is like HRH's dog, Ming, which is what, a teacup Maltese. And the other one is that uh, Chinese crested pom-pom. I think that's, it's adorable. Anyway, the, that couple we passed that has one says that she's a sweet dog. They keep saying she's a good dog. Okay, this is Pat McGrath lip, what, do they, what does she call it? It's got a lot of color for a lip gloss. It's called Pat McGrath Labs Bronze Divinity Lust Gloss Lip Gloss. It's bronze, this is the color. It's got a spatula shaped thing bobber. All right, that uh, milk under eye could be my new my new favorite under eye concealer. All right, I'm gonna fix the mascara bumps. Get the the makeup's already working its way into my tear ducts. All right, those are the little 
those are the Pat McGrath uh, products I have. The primer, the foundation, two lipsticks, a mascara, and a lip gloss. If you have Pat McGrath products, tell me about them. Tell me what you have and what you really like. If I wake up one morning and I'm in one of those moods where I want something. I don't care what, I just want something. Do we want to do eyelashes for today? I have some wispies right here. Let's do an eyelash. You know why? Because Pat was sweet today before he left to go out of town. He was trying to help me with my computer. And his favorite thing is eyelashes. So I'm going to put some eyelashes on for him for when he gets home. Okay, I'm going to take a, a wispy. And the wispy, it's not a demi wispy, it's a wispy. So it's symmetric. So you can cut it in half and use both pieces. So I cut it in half. Do you know what the next step is? Those stupid 615s are stupid. When I took those corner, even though I'd only worn them one time, when I took those corner lashes off, I threw them in the trash. I, I showed them. So, ta ta, stupid lash. I need an implement to put the mascara on. I mean, the glue on. Why don't I put on lashes often? Because they're, I think they're annoying. I think they feel annoying. I'm gonna get the glue good and tacky so I don't foul up my eye makeup look. All right, I set it down there. I'm gonna move slowly with this so I don't, like I said, so I don't mess up my, it's still not tacky, it's, there's one looks nice okay yeah so that's why when i put on lashes and i say it's for pat you know most of what i do is for jenny so that when i look in the mirror i'm not devastated by what i see but the lashes i would have to say that's a that's a step that i do for him All right, there's my makeup look. It's complete, lashes and all, and all. And like I said before, leave it in the comments. Let me know what uh, Pat McGrath products you have. And if you don't have any Pat McGrath products, tell me what your favorite favorite stuff is brand, whatever, that when you use it, you go, I'd like more of this. All right, y'all have a great evening. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow night and the conversation in the comments. Ta -ta. <laughs>